You go to the inn and find Moira. When you arrive at the inn, you find it's even more empty than usual. Why, hello there, sir, Moira says as you walk in. What can I get for you? She looks at you, expecting you to order something. You say, Moira, you work here? Yes, yes I do. Would you like a room? How much does it cost? You ask. She tells you the price, which you pay with some coins from your pocket. All right then, she says. Here's the key. You say, I think we should discuss our plan to defeat King Koopa. Moira nods in agreement. Good idea, she says. Come on, let's go to a more secluded area. You nod. The four of you head to the back of the inn, to an empty room that you know has a table and chairs in it. You say, Koopa is going to force Princess Toadstool to marry him this Sunday. How many days do we have until then? Seven, Luigi says. Right, so we need to do something drastic, like blow up the entire castle. I like what Toad has in mind, Moira says. It's simple, yet effective. Does she have any details on this plan? You say, let's not get ahead of ourselves. In order to reach Koopa's castle, we first need to defeat all 25 of his children. So far, we've beaten four of them. Oh, really? Moira says. I didn't know that. It's a highly classified operation, Wario says. You can read all about it in my upcoming memoirs. You say, Wario, what are you doing here? Wario shrugs. Looking for a fight, apparently, he says. How come nobody told me there was a girl in this operation? I would have gone out of my way to ensure she was safe. You weren't part of the team, Toad complains. You say, I thought you were busy trying to steal the moon or something? Wario smirks. I was, he admits, but I realized that the plan to take out Koopa's fortress would be a better use of my time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to be in the middle of the action at last. You say, well, I won't turn down any extra help. We could use all the help we can get to take down Koopa. Is that okay with the rest of you? Fine with me. As long as it means more money in my pocket, Luigi says. Sounds good to me, Ant says. Moira nods in agreement. When do we start, she asks. As soon as possible, you reply. You say, So like I was saying, there are still 21 sons of Koopa that we need to defeat. And less than a week to do it. Anyone got a plan for that? Wario nods. Yes, we go in, kick as many asses as possible, and get out, he says. That's what we used to do in the old days, after all. That's not a plan, Toad says. That's just reckless. Oh, we're certainly doing that, Wario says. No, we can't, Luigi says. The princess will be there. She won't be if we have our way. Wario says, I've already got a perfect distraction planned. You say, I'm listening. We sneak in during the wedding, take out all the immediate family, and get out. Then, the army can storm to the castle. What happens if the Koopa population attacks us? Toad asks. We can't fight a full-scale rebellion. We're not the Mario Brothers anymore. Bah! They won't attack. At least, I don't think they will, Wario says. Now that the stork has delivered that baby, Lord Koopa is going to be too busy to do anything other than focusing on that. You say, what are you talking about? What baby? Wario and the others explain that a baby has been born to Lord Koopa, 
meaning he can't produce any more teenagers. So now that Baby is next in line for the throne, and with no more teenagers, Koopa himself is old, Wario explains. You say, that must be why he's trying to marry the princess. He wants his kid to have a mother. Correct, Wario says. So when are we going to do this? You all quickly decide that you'll be sneaking into the castle on the day of the wedding. It's the perfect time. So what about the distraction? Toad asks. Disruption, actually, Wario says. I'm also going to disrupt the ceremony itself. I'll be the first one to reach Princess Toadstool, and then the rest of you back off. This is the perfect opportunity to strike at the king. He won't have enough warriors to defend the princess and the new baby, and we'll be able to advance and defeat the entire royal family. Then the army can be called in to support us, and Koopa will be no more. This is the perfect plan. You say, I gotta say, Wario, I'm impressed. I didn't think you were capable of coming up with such a plan. Thanks. I actually learned how to do this in case I ever took over the Koopa Bros. Who said you were taking over? Wario gets a little angry at that statement. Listen here, little guy. I'm in charge here, and you'd better get used to it. All right, you two. Stop fighting, Toad says. We still haven't figured out how to deal with this Koopa Troll problem. You say, I completely forgot. Koopa's castle will be guarded tighter than a can of ravioli. Toad's right. The Koopa Trolls will be even more fortified and defensive than usual. Wario suggests that you all sneak in through the sewers, which is an idea all of you are in favor of. The sewers will be great, Wario says. You say, Sewers are no problem for a pair of expert plumbers like me and Luigi. Yeah, and I'm the expert when it comes to getting into places King Koopa himself can't get in, Toad says with a smile. I'll say, Luigi agrees. You say, There's just one more thing I'd like to discuss. This is going to be the toughest fight of our lives. Before we go to the castle, we're going to need powerful items. Superstars, fire flowers, mega mushrooms, you name it. Wario, Luigi, and even Toad's face turns from enthusiastic to nervous at the suggestion of such powerful objects. I... I don't know, guys, Wario says. You say, I know you're nervous, but we need them if we're going to take on the entire Koopa family. Ideally, the five of us should each have one item. I don't know. I mean, what if we run out of power? That'll never happen. How do you know? Trust me. Wario looks down for a moment, and then nods. You say, Then it's settled. First thing tomorrow, let's search for those items. But for now, we should get some sleep. Good idea. Wario nods. Yeah, you say. Well, I'll see you guys in the morning. You walk upstairs and into your bedroom. You close the door and begin to get ready for bed. You go to sleep. You smile as you drift off to sleep. You can't wait to wake up in the morning and take down the Koopa Kingdom.